back to another video. Today we're out on Cal, we're trying to hit up some kokanee. I'm going to be throwing this Dodger here on a downrigger. Probably go like 60 feet, 50 feet, 40 feet down, see where the schools are at. Right now I do have a couple of fish going from 30 to 70. So we're going to try locating some schools of kokanee here. Um, a lot of reports this year about Cal. A lot of bigger kokanee caught, I've seen some as well. So I'm going to throw this little hoochie on, tip it with some scented corn, and let's go. Hopefully we get into some kokanee today. I've always wanted to catch bigger kokanee on Cal. Never really got out to trying, but this year I figured is the year. So here we got this washed out dodger. It's kind of uh, seen better days, but I think it'll do. A lot of silver there. Then here we got the hoochie. Just a purple hoochie. Um, got two hooks on there. Uh, took off the barbs. And I'm gonna tip that with some pink corn. Throw that down 40 feet and see what we get. So we got one dozen ringer down. And I'm going to try a little different setup on the second one. I'm going to use a bottom bouncer weight to get down. And then I have a Ford Fender with a little wedding band. So I'm going to take that and throw it down the end of the back of the boat here. And we'll see if I can catch anything like this. Right now I'm not marking anything. I'm going like at a 2.4 kilometer clip. Um, I think the speed is fine. Just have to find some fish. And then we're gonna have to play with depth and hopefully get on some. When I dropped my rod down, right away at the beginning, I noticed it kind of bounced. I thought I had a fish on, but look at this little guy. He's just like an eight incher, but there's no way this guy's gonna survive, so I'm gonna keep him. It's unfortunate, really unfortunate. I've been dragging this guy for a couple minutes, so there's no way that guy's surviving. Well, we got our first kokanee right on this little hoochie rig here. So, not the size we want, but the species we want. So we'll throw back and hopefully we get some bigger ones. There's fish right under me right now. Sucks because I don't go to get them. We'll get out there. Goal number one, get a kokanee. That's done. First kokanee of the season. Let's actually start hammering some bigger ones, better ones. Hey guys, I think this is a better fish. This might be a keeper. Oh God, this is... He's actually fighting me. Yeah, that looks like a bigger run. Not big, 
That's a keeper, guys. Got a kokanee. There we go. Check that out. Yeah, let's go. Not too crazy. Maybe a 14, 15 incher thicker, but that's a keeper on that pink hoochie right there. I'm gonna give him the ethical bonk. And the way I like to clean these out, bleed them out is just rip the gills right there. So blood spurting out. It's kind of messy for the camera, but it's the perfect way to clean them. Back in the water. Oop, got one on. Yes. Got one on, guys. Oh, it's fighting good. This is a better one as well. This is a better one. This is I think gonna be similar to that first one. Oh, he's definitely he's fighting well. Oh, oh, did he come off? Oh no, he's still on. He's still on. Let's go. Getting into some good ones. Oh man, he's actually peeling. This is definitely a good one. I'll say that confidently. Don't want to pull the drag too tight. Just don't want them to rip out. I can see him from further out there. It looks like a decent one. Oh. Waves coming in too. Oh yeah, that's a good size. Have to get the net ready. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's go. That's also a good chunky one. Guys, right, there you see it. That's coconut number two. Nothing big, nothing crazy. It's like a 14, 15 incher, but it's a coconut and we'll take it. That's bonker number two for the day. For the cooler, let's go. Hopefully we get a couple more. These are uh, they're starting to pick up or I found a location, I guess, that has some, so better school. Just a skinny little rainbow trout. Not what we came for. So a little nice guy. Kicks off. Gone. 